Hi, welcome to this um, tutorial video. Um, very short, quick tutorials. Um, we will show you how to create your own Angular project in this video. Uh, we will assume like Node.js, Angular 7, Plus, and TypeScript all installed. If you haven't, then depending on how it goes, we will create f uh, further videos and we might even create an installation process video. And uh, we, you need to have uh, Visual Studio Code just to show you how to write code and the code editor. If you don't have it, we will do a video as well. If, if you like this type of short videos, please spam the like button and subscribe. We will do further videos based on that. So let's start the video now to show you how to create the, um, the Angular project. So Angular projects require um, a command line typing. So I'll increase the font a little bit. So we will do it from the command line. So if we go to um, let me just uh, get this very good go to the D folder and then let's create tit we're gonna go to tits and then we're gonna clear this and create folder called tit1 that's where we're going to put all our tutorials okay so once we have tutorial all the stuff let's check what version of angular we have ng is for angular so if you type version so I'm going to try to increase the font so you can see Okay, we can see that. So the version number is 9.0.7. Okay, so let's start creating project. So you type in ng, so for anything ng. Uh, if I typed in ng and I had errors, that means the Angular is not installed properly. I checked the installation, but uh, watch the future videos for installation of Angular. So ng, new, to create a new project. And a project name, so tut. Um, let's call it tutorial first. So it'll be first tutorial tutorial. So let's spell that right. Tutorials. Okay, that's cool. Um, okay, so there is a there is a, a Gangler when you use ng new and a project name. It creates lots of files by default, including test files which we don't really use. We're not going to use it in here. So we can do dash dash skip tests. That means it will be shorter, should be shorter. It would, uh, less the test files, no test file to, it will not generate any test files. So in any scenes, Angular always ask if we want uh, an Angular routing. Um, so we will just say yes, because in future videos, we might show you how to do um, how to connect all the components so it can navigate between them. So the next bit I'm going to ask is what kind of framework we want to use for styling. We can use SAS, LESS and all that, but we will stick to CSS. So now it will go away and create the installation. Um, it's going to install packages and create the project basically. So it might take a bit of time, but because we said uh, skip tests, it should be a little bit faster than if you didn't skip tests. So, if had I not said skip tests, I would get extra files that are uniquely for test, uh, testing. We might show you that in future videos, depending on how it goes and the demand for it. Well, this is a brief uh, video for get you to create an Angular project. Okay, so it should be soon. OK, 
Okay. So it's the only bit that's going to take a bit of time that we've con no control over. We have tried to make it faster by doing dash dash skip tests. So you'd be glad to know that this is faster than if you didn't do dash dash skip tests. So right now this uh, project is being created under a subfolder called Tutorial First, the name of the project. So the project will be under the name of the project, so it'll be another folder to navigate to. So from where we are now, we'll have to navigate to the Tutorial First subfolder that should be created by Angular for us. Okay, I think um, it's around about that time when installation should finish. Um, and um, the first thing we will need to do before we actually get the Visual Studio Code to run is to move to the subfolder with the project name. Otherwise, we will encounter an error if we try to run. Uh, or yeah, so we need to be under the exact project before you open Visual Studio Code. Or we can actually use uh, Open Visual Studio Code with the name of the project, and it will open it in the right place. I'll show you a quick way of opening Visual Studio Code. Um, to open the files exactly in the right place. So it has been it's been taking a longer than I expected to be honest with you. I have feeling that uh it shouldn't have taken this long. I've done I've done it before uh, with skip tests and it was pretty fast. So apologies for this delay. Okay, so installed everything now. So if you look at that, it's installed everything. So at the moment, we are in this folder and we need to go to this because the project is always created with the project name folder and it's put in there. So we need to go to tutorial first and now here here we can see what kind of files they are this you can see lots of JSON files so you are under angular so you can see your projects angular so what we do to run the Visual Studio code is to do code and then because I'm under this, uh, this folder we can just say run Visual Studio code under this folder with a dot so Visual Studio code should run open there Okay, cool. The studio code has opened. We we'll look at some of these files. Okay, let's have a look at some of these files. The E to E files, we don't need that. That's testing file, end to end testing. Then uh, let's just. Look at the um, Angular file, Angular.json. So this file has got skip test because I, uh, I typed in skip test. So here to note is that if you had Bootstrap um, installed, it will show up here 
and it should show up under styles it doesn't so therefore we haven't got bootstrap installed for now we don't have to worry about bootstrap what we'll do though we will um, go and open the source folder and have a look at the first app that we have which is under app and if we look at the module.ts this is our first application and uh, this is the root application of an angular um, site so everything that you want you must register here and the so the title is uh, tutorial first we can change that to hello world that be um, sorry try not to try to save so if you go to the HTML it's got all the garbage here we need to remove all this garbage because this is the standard garbage that comes with it so it's a long list of garbage standard comes with it which really is neither here neither there to be honest with you um, so therefore we can remove that and then actually you can say h1 hello we can just say title so it should this do curly brackets means they are basically allows you to type in TypeScript here and uh, basically if we look at it this is the HTML of the root component this is the style sheet of it style sheet file and the routing module which we don't need at the moment we're not going to use it until later on if further videos if you want further videos now we're going to run this application to run this application we need to basically type command ng serve and we're going to type a dash o to say open in a new tab for the browser and then we're going to give it a port number because I have few ports used up so I'm going to say 4204 and uh, I'm going to run it in port 4204 so Oops, um, so spelling error there. Uh, just typed server instead of serve. So I'm just trying to grab this tab. See if I can get that to run on this tab. So we typed in hello world and we should see hello world on that tab once this starts running. So what it'll do, ng-serve is going to compile the application, make sure it's running correctly, and then it'll then serve it on this page, this tab, hopefully this tab, but on a browser, on your um, default browser. In this case, I just said open port 4204. If you didn't type that in, it would open into um, port 4200 by default. Unfortunately, 4200, I'm using it for something else, so I've got some other applications running there. It shouldn't take too long to compile. First time, it seems to be always slightly slow. Okay, so anytime now, it should start. So let's have a look. I'm just moving sideways, I'm moving some stuff so I can see the monitor because the monitor is actually behind another monitor and I'm having trouble seeing some of the some things on the edges. Okay, so we are still waiting for this to basically uh, compile the application.
so <coughs> excuse me so code dot dot will open Visual Studio Code in the current um, subfolder. That's what it means. You can also do code and the name of the project if you weren't in the subfolder. <coughs> so um, once it starts running, we should be okay. I might actually del uh, delete this bit in the final video. I'm not sure if we're gonna really edit it because it's taking too long for my liking. <laughs> Apologies for this delay. There you go. Started compiling. Extremely slow today. I'm not sure why. So as you can see, it's using ES2015 as the TypeScript version to compile the code. Okay, so we've set the title there between curly brackets it means that we want to get it from the component and in the component it should be able to find the variable title so we should see hello world so let's go back here so it's done 10 percent Okay, so it has opened this tab, and you got Hello World showing. So one of the things to note with the uh, any of the Angular projects is that you can do changes, make changes, and you'll see this changes quickly. So if I said Hello World. If I put another variable here, uh, I don't know, variable called um, greeting, and I said um, uh, welcome to this first Angular application. So that is this is my um, variable. Um, called greeting and uh, if I wanted that to be shown alongside the hello world so all I have to do is um, yeah so I go here let's say I put an h2 here Okay, two curly brackets, and then what you do is you say gre greeting. If you look at the left hand side, it's actually um, down, as I'm changing things, it's re, re rendering itself. So if I save this, you can see it's updated itself directly on the browser. Um, so that's a, that's a good feature. Okay, let's go and create another component. We're just going to create another component now. So what we can do is, we don't have to go to command line. We can leave this application running as it is. We will go to back to our our Studio Visual Studio code. We're going to type Control Shift um, apostrophe. It should open the terminal for us. It has, and now we're going to create a component. Other than application components, we're going to create another component. So what you do is ng generate component my component my comp let's just call it my comp for now we can actually don't have to type the whole thing out you can just say ngc my comp and it'll create my comp 
component and it will also create a folder subfolder here you can see this just created that okay so if I go to the subfolder my comp that's my component that's the uh, module uh, the TypeScript file uh, and um, the HTML file and the CSS so if I change that HTML to say um, h2 this is from this is uh, from my new component called my comp okay you see that it doesn't render itself here yet so if I move that um, as we make changes this compiler is still running behind behind in the background so nothing has changed here but if I go to the app module and you can have a look at my app module and there is my comp component being uh, pulled down so it's basically registered with the app a module because everything needs to be registered by app module with the app module so here what I can do is inside, inside here I can actually say okay somewhere here I'm gonna pull my uh, bring in my uh, comp so how do I do that now to do that I have to go to my comp um, the actual um, TypeScript file and say what's the selector here to create my um, my comp and show my comp in the browser so you take that one with the selector is the selector it's like an HTML tag um, so you basically literally you take that and you add it to one of the here so you could just say um, my selector so it will be if you look at the uh, left hand side you see my my uh, component suddenly appearing so um, okay so I think Let me make sure I've picked up the right thing. That's the, that's my HTML app dash my comp dash yeah. So yeah, all looks fine. If I change my component tag to say. Um, So you can see now it's showing this is from my component called my comp. It took a bit of time, I'm not sure why. But just to prove it, um, I'm going to say yay. And we could see it yay soon. It seems to be delayed, but it'll be there. There you go. So now this is showing both the application app on the first line, first two lines. The second line that is showing my comp um, here. So I hope this has um, whetted your appetite for further stuff in this. There'll be further videos and stuff, but for now, thank you for watching.